Hey everybody, welcome to Craftopia 3. Oh my gosh. I'm just over here fighting a tomato golem. Pirates, I don't think they know what's going on. But we got that guy taken care of. Oh, let's go ahead and get some gunpowder. Uh, so today we are going to be going over into this area here. We built our pyramid on the other side of this mountain. And this area here, I'm going to turn into a Peely village. This all fits into my story. This is part two in that journey, in that story that's being told. This is the Grand Tomato Temple where one time long ago, the before the Tomato Temple people became stormsick, they used to come here to worship the Colombos and offer them food and different items for resources. And also here next to it was the Grand Peely Village. And in this vi Peely Village, the Peely's job was to guard the entranceway into the Colombo's den. But unfortunately they were tricked and allowed the pirates to come in and poison Colombo. So now Colombo is in here in a deep sleep. So we are gonna start working on building that Peely Village uh, in this area. And I'm gonna do a a little bit of a different time lapse. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments. All right, so I just had a lot of fun building this little village. I was been looking forward to this for so long. I wanted to build like this, not a treetop village, but like maybe a mountain top village, I guess you could call it, where you have these little buildings around this like primary structure. And so the plantain Peely people, they were in charge of guarding this door right here. They had built up uh, strongholds around this area so that they could protect and defend this entrance and then the tomato temple people they protected this area so t working together they help protect the ma the main den of colombo now if you don't know what happens in that story that video will be linked um at the end of this video uh so be sure to go watch that full story uh and for context of what's happening here i want to show you guys some of these builds i did i really really like these a lot these uh Okay, so where should I start? Um, you know what, let's start here, this bridge. So I wanted to bring these two in together and I wanted to wrap something around this rock. I wanted to wanted it to look like it belonged here, like it was built out of the rocks. And I really, I struggled with this because there's no angled pieces except for these fence posts. If I could have built this how in my mind had imagined, I would have put angles here on a 45 and I would have taken them back into this rock or maybe I would have brought them out from here but I did try several different methods and then I ended up coming up with this one where I looks like a, a little anchor in the rock and then I used these I used uh, five of these and offset them to make it look like an arm that is supporting the structure overall but this area here I ended up adding this because it just seemed way too brittle uh, in this area and i really liked what i did here i added this so you can come in it's like a little doorway and you come up in this area and then you got another set of stairs that brings you up here and then you've got your little fire little signal fire to the rest of the villages around the island the top of the building is right here so it looks like the building and the rock are all kind of one thing together so i really enjoyed this build i really enjoyed actually i enjoyed all these builds I wanted to put reinforcements on the stairs so that it looked like they weren't just floating. So I added these pillars. They, they do have a nice uh, little system here, but I do wish that they had a couple pieces. I'll get into that in a minute in the uh, 
tips and tricks for building section that we're going to do. And I also wanted to put some different types of stairs in. So over here we have this stair set that's going back and forth, kind of like fire escape would be going up. And I also did some of these pieces here for support structures. You'll, you'll notice that on a lot of these different things around the village that I kind of use different ones to just test out different methods to see, you know, which ones I liked. Like here's the big center mast post with the supporting smaller posts around the outside. So I did that on these two, and then over on this one, we did the other railing, and then the staircase going up. This one here, I wanted it to wrap around the rock. So, yeah, I mean, you all you always have options, and I love testing out the different options. It's one of the things I really love about this game, and one of the things I really enjoy. I do, I liked how this one looks with that little thicker base and then goes to the thinner. I think this looks more natural. They don't have a medium piece. For here, let me show you real quick. They've got the top and they got the bottom, but they don't have a filler piece. They only have these two pieces here that attach to this bottom piece. So if I could ask for a couple more pieces uh, in this set, it would be a connecting piece for this. So I could put these thinner pillars and the floor pieces. You've got a, a six, an eight, and a 16. They forgot the other measurements. They forgot the other measurements. Um, I think it's because they just had the kit in, in the pre-builds. They don't use a t floor that's 12. But again, as I always say, all sets should have standardized pieces that you know is going to be in every set. They, uh, standardized floor sizes, standardized wall sizes. And then if it's going to be a roof, you know, over here, actually, I built this. This was one of my favorite uh, things to build. I wanted to make a hybrid building that used a square and a round piece but there's no square corners there's only the end caps so i had to put a round piece here and i think overall i, I think it worked i mean i kind of like it <laughs> i kind of like it um okay let's go ahead and sleep through the night this stair right here was a lot of fun for me to build um i added a support piece right here in the middle of that platform you know what actually i think i missed i think i forgot to put a couple of railings here the build there we go got railings now okay so we i put this thick one here and i actually tried to put those up through there and it just looked too thick i used these pieces here they they show like they're being supported with the angle builds like when you see bridges so you're able to support more weight with that type of construction this right here, this would be the center point for the village and all the plantain uh, pilly people that lived here. And this would be the guard tower. They would look, well, okay, they would run around out here looking for enemies. Uh, they would run around out here looking for enemies or anyone who was trying to sneak in and do harm to the mystical beast, uh, Colombo. Yeah, this is what they would do. This was their outpost. But I'm super happy how this thing turned out. And uh, I, I may add some more stuff in. I left the trees to grow up and into the builds. I had to, I, I did have to remove them to build, but then um, I didn't dig them out. I wanted them to grow back. So it looked like the Peely Village had been here a while and these trees had grown up around them. Overall, I really enjoyed this. Now let's go jump into a sandbox world and I'll show you guys a, a couple tips and tricks on building with the Peely pieces. I really enjoyed them, but <laughs> there was a learning curve. As you can see here, the their walls are actually on the ground for these angled pieces. And I did not know that. A lot of the stuff that I was building up in the air, uh, I was struggling with because I'd put the walls down and it wouldn't work out right. So let me show you guys a little trick. Actually, before I get up in the air, let me show you this, how these pieces go together. So you got this piece and then you got this piece here, which is kind of like a smaller half wall type and then this piece here actually connects to the top of that like this and then this finishes it out now personally i wish we had a little skinny piece that we can make this as long as we want but we don't we just have these two so anyways back to what i was going to show you let's grab this floor here you'll notice that you have two of these this is if you want to this is so if you want to keep the lines going the same direction you can we're gonna put that there and if you see here 
the lines go in the different direction. So this one actually would go over here. Then we'd actually have to grab the other piece and put one there and put one there. And that gets all your lines going the same way. And then here is a trick that I learned uh, the hard way after several hours of struggling. Uh, put down a thin floor like this and then put down a thin floor like this. You're going to want to just center it on this edge. You got one little stud there, one little stud there. Go ahead and do that on all four edges. Now, now you can take your walls. Let's go ahead and grab the door. And you can put your walls up here like this, right? And just move, now you can move them out to the edge like that. And now they stay. Now you got your angled floor. Now you got your other area and everything's working out perfectly. And cause this is what, this is what was happening to me. Uh, let me get rid of this real quick. I was lining them up like this on the edge of the floors, trying to get them to go onto the thing. And I even like, I was taking them out like this. And then when you go to put this one in, oh, get out of here. When you go to put this one in, you see that you're off the floor a little bit and you got a gap. And so you can't move this over anymore. If you moved it over one more, you would be off the floor and it wouldn't stick. So you had to figure out a way to get this wall out here. And the easiest way I found to do that was by adding these pieces. A little trick I learned with the roofs is you see those little green nubbies sticking down there? <laughs> Uh, I need to come up with another word, but you can tell if your roof is centered by these green. If you look there at the very bottom green piece, you want to be sure it's flush with both walls. And when it is, you can then place it down. And you can see that it's on that edge. So that is a really good way to be able to tell if you have your roofs on correctly. And now you got a little bungalow up in the air. These things are so fun. The little banana faces smiling at you. All right, so let me show you guys another trick that I learned. And I really like this one because they gave you railing to be able to do this. Okay, so on this build, we're gonna center this uh, 16 by 16 by 16 floor. If you wanna know a little trick for centering these, if your snap's not working, which my snap is not working, uh, put your board on there, move it over, and then count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then divide 10 in half, which is 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then this is a square piece, so you know your measurement, so you can already come over here. You can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Bam. So now you got this piece centered, and what we're going to do now is we're going to build something similar to that right there but we're gonna make it with railings going around the outside. So we are adding some floor width here like this. Now, all right, so now we got our base down. And so now we're gonna put this in the center of this. And so we have this flooring going around the edge and then we'll add some railing to it. Now, you're gonna grab a floor that is a six by two by one and you're gonna put it in this area and about in this area like this. This is gonna be your measuring pieces for your first wall that you're gonna put in. We're gonna grab this Nana wall and we're just gonna move it forward. Oh, there we go, it's red, so we're gonna back it off one. Now we're gonna go the other direction till it turns red. Oh, there we go, and then we're gonna back it off one. Just double check, make sure we're good there. Now we're gonna look here, you see we're against that board and we're against that board. So now we can go ahead and finish off the rest of these walls. And as you can see right here, Everything is equal around the whole base, which gives you this nice little lip for your building. And why this looks so good is like if you're building a tree house, if you're, if you, you could build this in the center of a tree coming up through the middle here. And then you could build this. And once that tree regrows, it's going to look like you built a really cool tree house. Now they do have these neat little Nana fence pieces right here. And here you have my custom little Peely uh, village house. Uh, you can take the middle thing out if you don't like it, but I like it. I, I just feel like it adds that extra support to the build overall. Yeah, this is this has been so much fun.
Let's put a little roof piece on here. And then right here, we can knock this out. Then I, add, I like to add a little floor like this. And then this is perfect for stairs. And now you have your little elevated village to keep you safe from any wild tomato golems who might want to destroy your village. I do wish there was, you know, you could fill this in here if you wanted to. I do wish there were stairs that you could angle and like fill this in. Or even if you could just have a 45 degree stair that would snap on to this edge. Oh, that would be so cool if you could just snap on that edge and make it 45. Maybe that'll come in the future sometime. I don't know. I always just throw things out there hoping that maybe Lego or Epic someone hears about it. It's like, hey, that would be really cool if we added that. One last thing that I want to show you guys uh, with these handrails that I learned, which is kind of in the tomato video also. But if you just snap your stair in like this, you're going to notice that you have a small problem on your hands here. You will see now that you have your railing coming off the front part and the next set you do will push it even further. So again, uh, this is probably one that I, I showed this tip in the tomato. But you're going to want to always add a piece and then you're always going to want to bring your stairs in like that. So now this here is all together. And now when you go to put your piece railings in, your railings will match up and they will look good. Look at that. That's a good looking railing. And it's going to be that way all the way up. And then you can always come back and knock that piece out. If you don't like it for me, I added structure there i added uh i added support pieces there i thought it made it look better overall so if any of this was helpful to you guys would you be able to do me the biggest of favors and hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed to the channel it really helps the channel out and lets me know that you guys enjoy this type of content and as always have a great day and i will see you in the next one bye